Alrighty, welcome back everyone, it's Coralane here bringing you another Neverwinter video. Uh, and today we are going to be discussing fishing in Schult and what you need to do, where you need to go, and what it's basically good for. Uh, so some things to note right off the bat. If you are going to want to participate in fishing in Schult, you are going to need your kayak as well as the fishing rod from Sea of Moving Ice. So if you skipped that entire campaign, you're going to have to go back and do it uh, and at least get your beginner's kayak as well as your beginner's fishing pool because you do need those items. Now starting right off, we're going to look where we need to go. Uh, so we're right down here in the uh, port map uh, and you can clearly see we're down by the docks. So you will simply come over to the fishmonger and you will have to purchase bait. Now, you can buy leather jackets with Schulten Riches, which is going to be one of the campaign currencies, or you can buy the leather jackets with AD. Uh, and they're not expensive. They're, they're 15 AD. Uh, you can buy like 400 of these for, I think, like 6K or something, or somewhere around there. So it's not horrible. So yeah, you can buy 400 uh, leather jackets uh, for 6K AD. Uh, or you can use your Schulten Riches. I don't suggest you use your Schulten Riches because this is the whole point of you fishing is to get the Schulten Riches. Now there is a, another type of bait just like Sea of Moving Ice. Uh, if you go down to your bait tab, uh, you had the krill uh, and you had the lugworms for Sea of Moving Ice. Well in Mod 12 and Schult we now have the leather jacket which is the common one. And we also have the glow worm. Now the glow worm can be um, in treasure chests or in the nodes in the map itself. Uh, they're not too common, but I mean, if you're running around farming, you can find some of these. So I've I've been using leather jackets just fine. Now you're asking yourself, what do you need to do uh, with the Shulton riches? Now. A majority of the people are going for the recipes. So if we look on the map, we simply just came right up here. And the recipes to make the Mod 12 weapons is what uh, you're going to be spending your Shulten currency on. Now you can spend your Shulten currency on other stuff, but for purposes of this video, this is what fishing is going to mainly be for. Uh, you, there are eight professions, obviously. Uh, and they cost 2,000 Shulton recipes each. And you basically need all of these uh, to make the Mod 12 weapons. So you're going to need, you know, 16,000 Shulton riches to get all of these. Uh, now you can get a few of them and then buy the resources you need You need to make the weapons. If you don't want to get them all, you don't want to grind them all, you can just simply get plate smithing and weapon smithing and then buy the other resources you need to make the weapons. Uh, I will have a separate video on the mod 12 weapons that'll be coming down the road when I can personally unlock all of these for myself. So that's the basics of it. Uh, we're going to jump right into the fishing itself. Uh, I am going to bring up a map on the screen for a couple seconds. If you need to pause the video, download the map, uh, there will be a link in the description to the map as well uh, as your fishing guide reference. So I'll see you guys on the river. Alrighty, so here we are on the river now, uh, and if you do open up your map, uh, as I mentioned before, there is three different areas. Now, if you're trying to get a, specif a specific fish, then you'll need to refer to the map that I talked about earlier uh, and showed in the video. Uh, so the three different areas, uh, there's one way down here, then you have the entire middle area. Now, if you look closely on the map, this is the bridge. And this will be the third area that starts. Now essentially you can fish anywhere you want if you're not uh, attempting to, you know, get your collections done and going for the specific fish. Uh, now there is a current, uh, let's say, bug in the game. Uh, there's an area between the middle area 
and the bottom area where I'm currently at that will reward you two fish uh, at a time. Uh, I'm going to assume this is unintended and isn't supposed to happen, uh, but it's, it's right here, guys. So if you look at the crosshair on my map, uh, and if you refer to the map that I did post in the video earlier, uh, you will gain uh, two fish per bait in this general area right here. Now, as I said, this is probably not working as intending. It's probably going to get uh, fixed eventually, so you might want to take advantage of this uh, as soon as you can. So we will uh, do a little fishing here uh, just for purposes of the video so I can show you guys that you will get two uh, loot per bait. So we'll reel this in real quick. Now obviously if you want to finish your collections you can go to all three areas and finish your collections and then once you're done with that if you're going to use fishing to utilize it then yeah you need to be doing this. As you can clearly see I just got two fish uh, per cast. So I'll show you guys one more time very quickly here. Like I said chances are this is not working as intended. This will probably uh, ultimately get fixed I would assume. So you are going to want to take advantage of this while you can because you're going to gain a lot of Shulton treasures from this. I mean, think about it. You're gaining two fish per bait. Uh, so you're basically cutting your workload in half at that point. And we'll catch that. And there you go. So you can clearly see I am getting two fish. All right. So here we are back in town. Uh, now you will go to the same vendor as I mentioned previous in this video uh, to turn your fish in. So this was about uh, 30 minutes worth of work right here. Uh, not a lot of blues, but a lot of greens and whites and they all add up, especially if you're gonna be taking advantage of the double dipping uh, method. So you will simply go right back to the docks area uh, as I showed where you get your bait at. It's right down here on the docks uh, for to turn in your fish and we'll see how much uh, Shulton riches we ended up with. So we're at uh, about 1,500 right now, Shulton Riches. So let's turn all these in and we'll see where we're at. So there you go, guys. We went from about 1,550 to uh, about 2,042. So that was about a half hour of work. So that's not really that bad. If you're trying to get the Shulton Riches, uh, fishing is a valid option right now. You will accumulate them pretty fast for the most part. So that's going to wrap it up for this video guide for fishing in Shult. Uh, if you guys have any questions with this or comments, please leave them below. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next video.